Hello so Aldo fam and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another cleaning motivation for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let's go ahead and get started. I will clean the upstairs bathroom first because I like to work from up going down. Cleaning this bathroom is going to be really easy today because I deep clean this bathroom last week. So today I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit and take out the trash. I'm also going to take the laundry downstairs so I can wash them because tomorrow is wash day. I'm just wiping down the countertops and the sink because there are dried on toothpaste on there. I didn't even bother to wear my gloves just because this is going to be super easy cleaning up. And then I scrub the toilet really quickly. And if you notice, I wash my hands in between whenever I am cleaning anything really. Now it's time to vacuum the floors. This is my favorite part because I know I am almost to the home stretch. So cleaning this bathroom took me about 10 minutes. And now it's time to speed clean the main bathroom or the bathroom downstairs that's in the primary bedroom or master's bedroom. So first I took out the trash and I'm going to wipe down the toilet and the toilet seat. And then I am going to scrub the toilet. After that, I am going to vacuum the floors. And then I am going to use this cleaner to wipe down the floor. I didn't feel like mopping it, so I just did this technique it took me about less than five minutes to clean the toilet room Now it's time to clean the shower doors. So last night I already cleaned the inside so I am just going to clean the sliding doors. So that is one of my tips for you guys if you want to save your cleaning time. Whenever you are in the shower try to clean the inside of the shower as well. So when you are cleaning you don't have to scrub it thoroughly because you already clean it the previous day. If you are wondering why my voice is a little different, because I just woke up <laughs> and I decided to voice over this video. Plus, my husband is going to be doing some construction in his home office, so there will be lots of noise. So I'm taking advantage of this quiet time early in the morning so I can voice over in peace and without background noise. 
After that, I vacuum the floor and I also mop the floor using this technique. As you can see, I am cleaning section by section because I didn't really want to full on mop the floor. So I am working section by section. So that is how I mop the floor whenever I am feeling lazy. this is also a good exercise it actually looks like I am dancing now it's time to put some fresh towels on the rack And then I am going to clean the mirror. I am also going to clean the countertop and the sinks. So it didn't take me that long to clean this bathroom because I maintain the cleanliness in here. So it's not that hard to clean at all. So it took me about 15 minutes to complete this whole entire bathroom. And then I am replenishing the face towels and hand towels as well that are freshly out of the dryer. And then I also put some fresh towels under the sink and these are the big towels. Now it's time to clean the powder room. This one is going to be super easy because this is only a half bathroom. I refill the tissue paper and I'm also going to take out the trash. And then I am going to scrub the toilet. So finally I decided to put on the gloves. Then I vacuum the floors. I clean the mirror and I'm also going to change the hand towel for a fresh one. And then I decided to change the floral arrangement on the sink. It took me less than 5 minutes to clean up this bathroom. After 30 minutes, I finished cleaning three bathrooms. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you are motivated to clean your own space. If you would like to see more video from me, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified whenever I post a new one. Also, if you would, please click like so YouTube will recommend my videos. I hope to see you soon. Bye!